Hey guys, welcome to another Zebra tutorial. This morning I was um, trying in Zebra to find the sound with the um, morph functions and with the wave morph. And I did that, but I also uh, came up with uh, some other stuff and I made a pretty cool sound. And I think you'll like it. I, use, I used it in the intro. This, this song is going to be the intro of my, uh, of my album my EP that is coming out uh, very soon and the intro was already finished but then this sound really uh, did come together because first it was just like this was all cool but then um, I accidentally made this zebra sound and it sounded way better all of a sudden it's this one so that adds a lot and I think that is because uh, my main melody this one it's um, never starting on the beat, it's always starting a uh, sixteenth later. And then when I add this zebra arpeggiator, this, uh, this one is starting on the beat, so it makes a nice interesting rhythm. Um, and what I did on the channel is just a little reverb. Um, just a little bit of uh, EQ and I use the pan man to pan the sound. But if you don't have that you can do exactly the same in uh, Zebra. So let's do that. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try and go over this pretty quickly. Um, there's not that much going on, it's it's uh, simpler than it looks. First we have oscillator 1 and this one I've drawn in some just random uh, weird waves here by just, by just clicking and uh, morphing and just doing crazy stuff, nothing, nothing too special. And then I've morphed that with an LFO, so I've set LFO 2 to the wave uh, modulation. And this is LFO2, so it goes in steps. And you do that by setting this to user and then setting it to gate. So it's going to restart every bar and then to uh, 1 16th. And now it's going through these waves, so it's, it's basically doing this with the waveforms. Then I set the tuning very high to uh, 3 octaves up. The 36 and I modulated that with an MSEG and this one so this one is set to an octave it goes from the ranges from 36 uh, semitones up to uh, 48 so there's one octave and this is just doing a simple melody and to do that you can right click here and say value snap uh, 12 and then when the modulation range is also 12 you know that every step is going to be um, a whole note and not detuned so that's very useful and then you sort of have to count the steps up so um, I go one two three and then I know that this is uh, three notes up from the root note and this probably is five one two three four five yes because you don't see the, the values up here when you're dragging these dots so you kind of have to have to count um, then when we go to the effects panel I have an exo phase which is a really great effect and a phase distortion to minus uh, 56 the exo phase is to 100 and nothing is uh, happening here so that's all for oscillator 1 and then I've sent the true uh, low pass filter which is mod modulated by LFO3 and LFO3 is set to saw down 
and um, to 116 and it's also set to gate so this is giving me the a little bit of plugs and the other plug is coming from the envelope envelope 1 is set to uh, 1 fourth so now it's a synced envelope and I've set the decay to 25 so now it's going to give me those um, that rhythm if I set it to 50 the rhythm is going to be half time a uh, half time slower Um, but you don't really notice that right now because I also modulated this decay with an uh, MSEG so let's see we have the filter now I'm trying to keep things as clear as possible uh, first I'll talk about the uh, cross modulation filter it's set to low pass parallel and L pass to a low pass combination filter and the mode is set to analog then the cutoff is at 39 and the NFO3 is up um, all the way and that is all uh, that there is to it and then um, for envelope 1 so what you need to do is set this to 1.4 to make it sync and then set this to 25 or um, any value you want but when you use 25, 50, uh, 75 it's going to be synced and, and more in tempo uh, with your song then you need to s uh, right click here and set it to loop decay so normally this would just give the three empty dots so you right click and say loop decay and you set the fall rise all the way to the bottom then I went to the mod matrix and I assigned MSEG4 with a full amount to envelope 1 decay so to this knob so this is basically the speed and now when we look at MSEG4 I just draw a pretty random rhythm here So that is doing that, um, that is all for that first lane, then we go to oscillator 3, it's also going through envelope 1, you can see it right here, um, this one is very simple, it's just I think a standard oscillator, um, oh, okay it's a bit weird, but you can just draw something like this, it doesn't really matter and I set LFO4 to the tuning here and I made a, uh, a little melody so it's also set um, to 12, 12 semitones, so one octave and I set it to user again, 116 and set it to gate always remember that and just make your melody here and when you've got something close you can right click and say quantize uh, to 12 and then it's going to do the same as in the MSEG where it's uh, making sure you don't have any detuned notes so it, it's going to quantize it it to the 12 note notes that you have in one octave um, then the oscillator effects I have a filter and that's it and it filters down by uh, 68 minus 68 that's it and this one is also going through that uh, envelope 1 if I would set it to envelope 3 it would sound like this I also like that, maybe I'm going to choose that later but for now it's set to envelope 1 and that's why it's sounding like sort of an arpeggiator because the envelope is looping then I have oscillator 4 here and oscillator 4 is slightly uh, more complicated where is it? Um, this was an uh, oscillator that I made a while ago and I saved it as oscillator preset and the mix is down to uh, minus two octaves, the detuning is all the way down I have a band works in the um, effects panel set to 12 and this is a band pass and band reject filter by the way LFO2 is uh, set to modulate that filter with an amount of 4 and reset is on Facing is at uh, 6.5, and uh, sync is on. But all of this, you just have to you have to experiment because it, I think you can make it sound better than this. It's it's all about the learning. 
and if we look at the wave for that oscillator it's also pretty weird and I did the same thing where I've just drawn crazy shapes like this and it sounds like this it's very low and that's also because I've put a filter after that filter one and I set that to modulate with the mod wheel of my keyboard so now when I raise the mod wheel And actually, I don't think we need this lane um, for my song, for my composition. So now the total. And if you want to do the trick where it bends from left to right, um, you don't have to use this uh, plugin. You could also go to your mod page, mod matrix, and you can say, let's see, LFO, what do we have free? Let's choose a global LFO and set the target to uh, pen one. Oh, yeah, voice mix, pen one. And then we're gonna choose the same LFO for um, the other lane, this third lane. So that is voice mix band three. And now we can set this to sync each bar and then set it to a half note. And then you have the same thing. And what I also forgot to mention is that I also modulated the sustain of envelope one with MSEG one. And that is just at the beginning. So that's giving that one note that sounds a little bit longer. You can do that again here if you want. So that is raising this uh, sustain knob right here. And then there's just a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay, very little bit of delay at 1.50 uh, with the settings to oh, an 8 note and an 8 note dotted. So that's basically the whole sound, it's quite, it's quite simple and um, I think it can add a lot when you layer it upon um, other stuff uh, if you already have a melody because this melody is very simple so it it doesn't intervene too much with uh, what what's already going on inside your song and um, it adds some nice uh, it adds some nice harmonics so I liked it and I hope you do too and see you next week.